If y'all don't know me, I'm John. I'm Patrick's best man. We've been best friends for about all of 11 years. I know that you're going to be part of my life for the next 40 years, and I'm glad that you're going to be there too, Kristen, because this is my best friend, and, and I haven't seen anything make him as happy as you do. I'm so, so thankful that you have found someone who loves and admires you as much as your little sister does. I never knew the right words until I found you. Patrick is the most genuine, sweet guy um, I've ever known, and this is like one of the most important days of my life, and just to get to marry the man I love is so big. I'm so excited, um, and I can't wait. <laughs> I feel like both Chris and I have been looking forward to this day for a long time. Uh, just to be finally married and living with each other is, uh, it kind of relieves all the stress that usually goes into a wedding. It's just been so much fun having her by my side and uh, I just, I know that that's only a precursor of what's to come and it just makes me really happy and excited thinking about what was and knowing what's coming. Patrick, I've prayed about this day since I was a little girl. I prayed for the man I was going to marry and prayed for all the things that you are. I never dreamed that I would be marrying the most amazing man I've ever known. Your patience gives me comfort. Your kind heart brings me joy. Your thoughtfulness is pure. Every day is better with you in it. There are no words to express my love for you. I cannot wait to become your wife today in front of all of our friends and family. Patrick Hall, I love you most. Kristen, I can't believe this day is finally here. When I think about the rest of our lives together, I see adventure, laughter, and pure joy. You are my best friend, and I can't wait to see you walking down the aisle towards me as we start our forever journey. I love you with all of my heart. Patrick. Finally, there's something that I believe happened really significant at this wedding that points to him and his sacrifice, and it points to something you guys are going to do next. See, Jesus teaches us what real love is like because it is sacrificial. He gave his life to love his bride so well. And so every moment of, of love and sacrifice that you guys have for each other, you're giving us all a reminder and a picture of the perfect love of Jesus Christ. Before his death, he was spending it with the ones he loved most. And he got down, the Savior, on on his hands, on his knees, and he washed their feet in an act of sacrifice and service. And he modeled something for all of us. He was teaching us what real love relationship looks like. And so now we get to watch and observe our dear friends as they sacrificially serve and love each other.
My lawfully wedded wife, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, in the name of the Father. And the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Kristen, you repeat after me now. I, Kristen, take you, Patrick, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. All right, awesome. Okay, we are now going to exchange the rings. That's right. The Holy Spirit. He, the Holy Spirit responded. He showed up. <laughs> All right, well listen, these rings, they're a symbol of the vows you guys have just made to each other. They're also a symbol to the world of the commitment that you have made to one another in marriage. And it also represents the completion that you guys have found in each other, all right? So Patrick, why don't you take the ring for Kristen and place it on her finger? All right, now repeat after me. I give you this ring, give you this ring. as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am, all that I know, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. All right, Kristen, now you can take the ring. All right, Kristen, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. All right. Well, listen. We've prayed some prayers. We've sung some songs. We're all impressed with Patrick's sock game. <laughs> Very sharp. Um, we vowed, made our vows, washed each other's feet, and so now we're at that moment. And so, by the power vested in me as a minister of the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you man and wife. Patrick, you may kiss your bride. I'm looking into your eyes. Right now, I'm trying to show you that we're going right, to be it is now my great pleasure. all right. To introduce oh, to you for the know. very first time, What's Mr. and there? Mrs. Hall. All I know is that my love, it knows no end.